Okay, number 21 through 24, our unit 8 review. Subtract the polynomials. If you recall, when there's a subtraction sign, we are going to um, basically do leave, change, opposite. So leave, change this, and then we're going to take the opposite of what's inside. So 7x squared is going to become negative 7x squared, and minus 4 is going to become plus 4. And we can just cross it out now because we're done using it. Now we're going to combine like terms. If I have a 2x squared and a negative 7x squared, that's going to give me negative 5x squared. And those are gone now. There's nothing to go with the minus 3x, so we'll just bring that down. And then I have a positive 8 and a positive 4, and if I put those together, I will get a positive 12. All right, number 22, give an example of a cubic binomial, state the leading coefficient. So there's two things we need to do with this. Give the example and then state the leading coefficient. Okay, a cubic binomial, the degree is 3, so the highest power is 3, and a binomial means there are two terms. So this would just be an example. I could do 5x to the third plus 2x. There are two terms and the highest power is 3. Okay, it says to state the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is just the number that leads the problem, which is 5. Right, 23, multiply the polynomials. Right, um, on this one, you may be an arrow drawer, which is fine, but I'm actually going to do it the Punnett square way. So I'm going to put x minus 2 along that side, and then 2x squared, 3x, and negative 4. And I will multiply each separate one. So in this first box, x times 2x squared is 2x to the third. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. And then down below, negative 2 times 2x squared is negative 4x squared. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x, and negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8. Okay, then from here we're just going to combine like terms. 2x cubed has nothing to go with it. These two can, can be combined. Negative 4 and a positive 3 is a negative 1x squared. Um, these two can be combined. A negative 6 and negative 4 is a negative 10. And then we'll just bring down that plus 8. So that would be my answer for that one. Okay, this next one says to factor the polynomial. This is a trinomial, and it's a quadratic trinomial. So I know that I'm going to put two parentheses, and since it says 3x squared, we will put 3x and 3x, and we don't want to forget to divide by 3 when we're done. Now I'll take the first number times the last number. That gives me negative 24, and then I'll just think of some choices. Um, negative 12 times 2, negative 6 times 4, negative 4 times 6, and I actually already have the right answer because if I pick negative 6 and 4, negative 6 plus 4 does give me the negative 2 in the middle. So minus 6 plus 4, and then I look at which one will the 3 divide out of. It's the first one. So if I divide 3 into both of those, I'm going to get 1x minus 2, and then 3x plus 4. And if you want to rewrite it without the 1, we could have x minus 2, 3x plus 4. And then we have it.